So welcome everybody to the EPTL podcast episode number four. I have with me Mr. Sanjay Jain, who happens to he's made an interesting transition. By the way, he's an interesting personality. I believe all my audience should know about. I'll talk about him. He was a player in season number one, if I'm very correct, and then he's transitioned to now a team owner. So it is you know in EPTL world, it is a promotion one every single player would like. So now he owns the team Topspin Titans, and uh, I had the wonderful fortune to meet him at the auction as well. A wonderful personality with uh, with I would say a strategic mind as well. So we'll have you know all sorts of discussion how his experience was as his player and how his experience uh, uh, has been as as a team team owner so far until now. So, but before that, I would like to welcome Mr. Sanjit Jain sir. Welcome to EPTL podcast. Thank you so much, uh, Prashant, for having me over, and it's a privilege. Wonderful, sir. Sir, my first question to you is: uh, You were a player last year, if I'm correct. Right. How was your experience as a player in EPTL? It was it was really good, you know. Uh, uh, firstly, it I think it's uh, it's probably the only tournament in India for engineers. So being a part of the engineering fraternity, it was great to uh, play, uh, great to meet and network uh, fellow uh, engineers, and met so many good people and made friends with them. That was uh, a very great thing, and. The tournament was so uh, nicely organized. You know the hospitality, the venue, uh, you know the entire facilities, the stay, the format of the matches, uh, the way the teams were distributed, and uh, players got to play multiple matches. You know, mostly ITFs are knockouts, and here we we got to play. Even the losing teams got to play. It was a it was an amazing experience. So. You know, I loved it. Sir, मेरा ना interesting question यहाँ से start होता है. I say you have been a player and everything was great. What motivated you, prompted you to become a team owner this season? ऐसा क्या आपका shift in mindset? इतना आपको क्या EPTL पसंद आ गया कि you were like now I want to get associated with it for as long as longest term as possible. Uh, see, I believe the the whole experience. of the tournament uh, season one was very rich you know i go to multiple tournaments uh, and uh, i mean you know mostly uh, it, it is with all due respect a slightly mechanical experience but eptl is kind of a little different uh, in the with the whole the whole format is uh, is defined and you have a team so there is a lot of camaraderie between the teammates uh, you get to play multiple players you know there is this three teams format so you get a lot of variety of players to play with and uh, in the in in parallel you we also are having the doubles tournament we you know doubles open last year uh, we had that so the the overall experience is such that you don't want to miss it and this year obviously i registered and then you know it occurred to me i mean <clears throat> i don't know but it occurred to me hey what if uh, in the auction nobody buys me then i will be left out so uh, <laughs> if i become a team owner i get a chance to retain myself and play i mean that's obviously you know just one of the reasons but uh, i i really wanted to be a part of the of a slightly bigger part uh, a slightly more integral part of the whole thing uh, because i enjoyed the whole tournament so much and you know talking to uh, virendra i realized his vision is much bigger and i don't want to talk a lot on his vision because that is his prerogative uh, but i you know uh, uh, seeing his passion uh, and vinay's passion i felt i really want to be a much uh, you know more closer part of the whole thing sir i i love it i love your strategy ki player aapko is bar unsure tha ki aap is bar rahenge ki nahi rahenge to aapne team hi bana di matlab uh, this is you know if one should 
हैव लेवल ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस इन देयर लाइफ एंड यू नो प्रिवलेज तो ऐसा हो कि अगर कोई लीग uh, में जाके आपको प्रॉब्लम हो तो सचिन तेंदुलकर ने खुद ही की टीम बना ली क्योंकि उसको पता नहीं था कोई पिकअप करेगा कि नहीं करेगा आई एम श्योर सर आपके लिए ना बहुत ज्यादा बिडिंग होती है अगर आप यू वुड हैव गिवन देम द चांस बट वी आर वेरी हैप्पी द फैक्ट दैट यू यू नो गॉट अप विद न्यू टीम एज वेल सो दैट्स आल्सो वेरी एक्साइटिंग अच्छा मुझे ये बात बताइए आई टॉक मी विद टॉक मी थ्रू द प्रोसेस ऑफ ओनिंग अ टीम नाउ दैट यू आर एन ओनर अ प्राउड ओनर ऑफ एन ईपीटीएल टीम टॉक मी थ्रू द प्रोसेस की वट आर योर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज एंड मतलब क्या वर्क बर्डन बढ़ जाता है आपका या मे बी इन द सेंस दैट हाउ डिफरेंट इज इट टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ द लीडरशिप टीम एज अपोज टू अ पार्ट ऑफ लेट से जस्ट बींग अ प्लेयर right right so i before that i just want to add one more point you know to to your last question that yeah. hey why did i buy this team uh, see i mean you know i'm i'm 47 and uh, mostly i have like most people invested or spent money in material acquisition you know we buy cars we buy houses uh, but we somehow are not so forthcoming when it comes to spending on experiences and i think that was a very big reason which i felt that hey this is such a rich experience this is an experience which we look forward to the rest of the year so why not invest in an experience so i think that was a very big reason uh, so uh, you know uh, coming to your question see as a team owner i mean obviously uh, the the whole thing starts from the auction you start strategizing uh you know before the auction that what are the players you want to buy and uh, uh you know you this time we got a chance to have a look at at the list and do some primary or secondary research rather on players build your own strategy on the different categories of players and once the whole auction thing is done you know we have to build it's very very important since it's a team event it's very important to build a bond homey amongst the 10 players that we are i am you know slightly fortunate because i am a player myself so i think like a player and i i know the insecurities of being a, a player and especially in a doubles format so uh, you know uh, when what we did was we we met over google meets uh, with all our teammates and we i i basically took that uh, extra thing to to uh, to basically assure everyone that hey we are all one team and we all just have to put in our best and not worry too much about the match pressure you know uh, we have to we just discuss what are our strength who is a baseline player who is a volley player and so on and so forth and you know basically making so everybody comfortable that hey it's just a game our most important thing is to in those 4 5 days is to leave the place as buddies as very good friends hmm. uh, so my whole strategy and my whole role as an owner uh, if you may uh, is around that so you know it's very interesting to me that uh, a, a team owner such as yourself has gone the extra mile so it, it is for other the other nine team owners and the other nine teams to figure out how to beat somebody like this who goes on the extra mile to actually arrange sit down in a google meet arrange and talk about you know uh, what what your strategy is going to be and give this relaxing mindset to 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 your team team members as well so i think it's an excellent approach acha sir ab mudde pe aate hain mudda mera ye hai ki aapko pata hai tournament hai and i know you know we can talk all round and round in circles about how you know you you want them to uh not be living under a lot of pressure and everything but at the end of the day you're looking for that trophy i know i could see you in the auction day you were as flabbergasted as everybody everybody in the room and you wanted to you know take a piece of that trophy home how do you plan to go about it how do you plan to beat them all because it is a ruthless competition at the end of the day there is no room for mistake so what are your strategies given that you're also going to be a player uh, in the season what well, what are your strategies about going about that trophy right see we have a few strengths you know we have um, aditya uh, as our a plus player who was the player in the winning team last season right so he 
he gets with him that confidence and that experience of winning the tournament last year which is a very big thing we have a player uh, rakesh rakesh meena who was a, a, who was a seep you know category player of the winning team again last season so he again gets that experience that knowledge uh, you know of of being a winning team we have uh, vivid in our team as an a player who won the best uh, baseline player award last year right so you know he comes with his own level of confidence so, right um, then we have uh, uh, rp gupta sir who was in in my in our team you know we were in the same team last year so we played together so we have that kind of chemistry uh, we have him pande sir saharsh pande they are a father son duo by the way and i have played oh, with the them they from uttarakhand the one from uttarakhand i believe if i'm correct that's right and oh, you know i am you know i am from uttarakhand so i played with them in tournaments before so there is a little bit of uh, you know you know we know each other a little and that 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 really really converts into a lot of strength during the tournament for example see we are 10 players but only six players get to play now obviously i'm not saying that hey we'll just choose a six players and they will play the entire tournament and we'll just rest the other four out but when we discussed we got on on this whole thing that hey winning the tournament is more important for the team and you know i if i have to rest you know i will do that it's not that hey i have to play and i have to score we have to see who is the right guy we have to basically see what will the right winning team uh, team winning combination and we have been discussing this quite a bit that hey sahar is left handed and vivid is a good baseline player so they might make a good pair and so should we make them play the titans or aditya has a experience him pande sir has a lot and lot of experience um so should they play the the you know the the david and goliath uh, match and then we have uh, a, a very experienced player like uh, rp gupta so we you know these c and d category players would be the real match winners or the tournament winners so basically we have done our own permutation and combinations of left hand we have two left handers which is always a good thing to have so basically all of these uh, you know strengths and weaknesses uh, we have listed down very thoroughly and uh, obviously we don't know we know the other teams but we don't know the combinations that we get to play with um we have to have finally leave the rest uh, on the day of the tournament but all of this uh, and we believe that we have to just put in our best and uh, enjoy put in our best so that's that's the whole strategy uh, for the for for winning the trophy sir i don't think i was ever wrong when i called you a strategist i i think i i knew for a fact that you were one and you are and you've established yourselves in the interview as well that everything is mapped down everything is planned i know of course the format of eptl is such that you don't know which team you get to play and the sort of combinations that uh, you know that permutations or combinations that might occur on the on that day which make it all the more interesting uh, i was speaking to one of the players uh, uh, you know last year mr tapan sharma he told me that every single match last year almost every single match of his went to a super tie break so i think it will make things even more interesting that it's not going to be one sided match the format makes it so interesting sir i have a very one short sort of uh, final question for you and we'll do like a quick uh, rapid fire before i'll ask you that question um so the question is you've transitioned as a player to a to a to a team team owner do you do you advise other people to do to the same next year do you advise that that's the route you should be taking see we don't we don't want too much competition as team owners <laughs> no, see i think if, you know a, a, a lot of people would want to do that i think that uh, you know this is a very unique kind of a franchise uh, model that uh, virendra and vinay have created i think that uh, the engineering community has come together to create such a beautiful uh, tournament 
uh, where lots of people can play. You know, the, the whole math team format makes it a whole, a hundred people event, you know? So uh, I'm sure that anybody who, who really wants to be a much bigger part of it, you know, I would say it, I would say this, that, Hey, in two, three years, it might be really, really difficult to be a franchise owner. I, I can see this whole, uh, you know, tournament growing to that level. So the next one year or so is a time when you can be a owner. Okay, sir. So I think that sort of does uh, give a decent explanation as to why other people should look forward to be associated with this tournament. With that, I'll ask you three quick questions in a rapid fire format. I hope you're ready. Number one, sir. Number one. Question number one. Uh, which is your favorite serve? Like which side do you prefer to serve uh, at, at your favorite? T side or, or the other side? Out wide. I like, uh, I like to serve on the T side. Okay. Favorite shot? Favorite shot is uh, two-handed backhand cross court. And greatest player of all time, according to you? Uh, Novak, I believe. You know, I just finished reading his book, uh, uh, Serve to Win, and I love the book, and I think he's a great player. Oh, I'm sure there are going to be so many people debating, you know, your choice of the greatest of all time in the comment sections. But I at least personally agree with you. I think Novak <laughs> is unarguably the best all times but i think sir it was a wonderful conversation thank you for uh, sparing your time and sharing these wonderful experiences both transitioning as a player as well as a team owner uh, any last words from your side i am so excited and i am so grateful to eptl organizers you know uh, i i got a friend from delhi for the auction and he was he was just overwhelmed with the kind of auction uh, we had, I was too. So everything is going so professionally and, you know, it, everything is so well organized. Uh, I'm really, really looking forward to the tournament. Wonderful, sir. And so are we. I would absolutely love to meet you on 5th and 8th. I know we are all going to be on the venue and we really hope to see, make sure that the audience uh, uh, would see the tournament as well. If you're in Jaipur, come by to Jay Club, come by to SMS Stadium. If you're watching it online, be prepared. We have a live stream coming up, hopefully with commentary as well and live score as well. So we have everything in store for you. Thank you again, Mr. Sanchez, for joining us. Stay tuned. We are going to bring more exciting people and more exciting stories to share in this EPTL podcast. Thank you very much. Thank you, Prashant. The pleasure is mine.